had an alternative to expensive graphics tablets, tablet computers, um, or uh, any other sort of uh, high dollar equipment that would allow basically whiteboarding, uh, allow a tutor to uh, show a student through the computational process and a math problem or basically any other sort of material that the instructor or that the tutor might be able to uh, put up on a whiteboard. What we're using here is a little IPVO document camera. The one we're using is a $94 item from uh, Amazon. There's one that it has just a little bit less resolution, but that works very well for this as well, which we've used in the past, which is about 65 bucks. You can, as you're seeing here, you can either in real time using CCC Confer and sharing your screen with a student, or in an, a, uh, an asynchronous mode on demand where the student can come in and watch this recording anytime. You can just use a piece of paper and a pen, good old fashioned technology, to uh, work the student through a, uh, through a math problem like uh, maybe you don't want to hire me as a math tutor. But at least you can tell that I, I goofed here and if I need a little help the camera is perfectly capable of uh, recording three-dimensional objects as well, so I can get a little help here. Ah, oh, okay. And keep the student going, and I can just fill this sheet of paper. The student can see it just as easily as if they were sitting there in the room with me looking at it. Of course, you're scarcely limited to math with this. Anything you can put on paper. If I wanted to show a student how to make nitrobenzene, I could show them starting with uh, benzene and nitric acid and sulfuric acid and the resulting nitrobenzene. If I wanted to make dinitrobenzene, I could just do the same thing again. and illustrate that the nitro group is a meta director on an aromatic ring producing 1,3 dinitrobenzene. If I really want to get dangerous here, I can continue this process and make symmetrical or 1,3,5 trinitrobenzene, which is a high explosive, very closely related to TNT. And of course I can, anything I can draw here, I can share with the student either live or uh, asynchronously. If I want to illustrate an, uh, something from a book, I can very easily do that. By just dropping the book underneath here, I may need to, I've got zoom capability here, I can bring that in, maybe refocus, just to sharpen things up, there we go, so I've got the, some illustrations in a book, some text, quite clear, I can of course mark that up if I want to mark up my book and uh, I can uh, share materials, illustrations, text and so on from a book with the students. I zoom back out. I can even share the latest app with them. And maybe reduce my exposure just a little bit. That tends to make the phone screen a little bit sharper. And I can show them the latest app. I can show them the Blackboard Learn, Mobile Learn app and how to log in to the San Diego Community College District. So there's just not much you can't do here with a little imagination and felt-tip pen and a, 
and a piece of recording software. I'm using Snagit here to record this. Snagit costs about $36 on an educational license. That's something that, indeed, there's a uh, another package called Jing, which is completely free. Main limitation is that you can only use it for five minutes. You can only make recordings that are five minutes long. Sometimes that's a blessing rather than a limitation. So this is uh, a very inexpensive alternative to expensive graphics tablets, uh, high-end document cameras, tablet computers, gra uh, and, and things of the like, which can allow uh, tutors, especially in math and science, but really in any field, to interact with students in real time or on demand in a highly visual way and uh, highly, I think, uh, our experience suggests a highly effective way.